Good day, CET students and community. I would like to confirm that our media physical assessments are progressing as planned and scheduled on both our campuses. CUT is a tertiary academic institution. That means completing academic programs is our top priority. The vast majority of our students are prepared and eager to successfully complete the first semester. We understand that it is challenging to adjust to the venue-based assessment after having to cope with the blended approach necessitated by the COVID-19 regulations. You have our full support, and we know that will reap the rewards of your dedication. We are fully aware of some students attempting to disrupt our physical assessments in favor of online assessments. Accordingly, CUT management is doing the utmost to ensure a safe and conducive environment for venue-based examinations. South African police services have arrested at least five CUT students who attempted to disrupt examinations in, in Bluefontein by means of intimidating and throwing stones at the police who were on duty at the main gate. The law enforcement process will take its course, and the CUT's student code of conduct will also apply in dealing with those students who were involved in this incident. CUT strongly condemns this act of public violence. We apologize to students who were subjected to, this coward, to the cowardly act of paper spray being released in two of the Bluefontein examination venues. We strongly condemn such inhuman acts of brutality. Those in incidents have been investigated and the perpetrators will be brought to book. Let me remind you again that the CUT is a full contact institution and not a distance learning institution. And therefore, does not have the authority to accredit examinations that are not done in accordance with CUT's status as a full contact institution. In addition, the current unreliability power supply may have disruptive effects. And since the COVID-19 restrictions, which necessitated virtual classes and virtual assessments have all been suspended and all the necessary support has been provided to enable venue-based media assessments. Management has made all necessary preparations to successfully execute the media assessments and will continue to monitor the situation and communicate with students on a regular basis. Some students have been prevented from attending the assessment sessions due to disruptive actions of other students who have attempted to intimidate those students. Students who have attempted to take the venue-based assessment and have been adversely affected by the attempted intimidation must please make a formal submission to the relevant lecturer to be considered for the supplementary examinations. With due regard to the consideration of the outcome of the formal submissions, no student, for whatever reason, will be allowed more than two assessment opportunities as per standard assessment rules pertaining to the media assessments. Students who have failed to attend their first assessment opportunity without a valid reason will not be allowed to take the second opportunity and will consequently fail that particular model. Also note that any disruptions 
and or incitement of students attempting to participate in the venue-based assessments are illegal and unlawful. And students who act outside the law will have to face the consequences of their actions. It is important for students who are diligently preparing themselves for the mid-year venue-based assessments to know that many of the disruptors have already completed their undergraduate qualifications and are now imposing their selfish intentions on the students who are willing to take their mid-year assessments. In an effort to protect the academic integrity of the institution, students failing or refusing to take the media assessments will receive a mark of zero. Students need to consider the consequence of failing to take the media assessments. The consequences are as follows. It will directly impact your NSFAS funding status. It will prolong your study years. It will reflect negatively on your student record and it will potentially rob you of your bright future. We know that the vast majority of our students are eager to complete their studies successfully by taking the upcoming assessments. We commend your commitment to your studies despite the intimidating efforts of a small minority of disruptive students. Be assured that you have our full support and that we will do everything in our power to ensure that you are given a fair assessment opportunity. The CUT management therefore extends its best wishes to all students for the current assessments. I thank you.